Today, the Nigerian Stock Exchange in a World Press Conference gave an appraisal of the capital market's performance in the year 2011. Here we bring you some of the excerpts from the meeting. In 2011, uh, the economy uh, averaged a 7.6% uh, return. Annually, this is across the uh, three uh, quarters. Uh, the non employer uh, sector contributed about 7, about 85.73% uh, in the top quarter. Um, and uh, the major sectors in the non employer sector that uh, really drove this um, output were agriculture with more than 40 percent and wholesale retail trade. The oil and gas sector contributed about 14.27 percent uh, to uh, the gross domestic product in the top quarter of last year. Um, even though uh, monetary authorities were uh, trying to bring inflation down to single digits, uh, by the end of the year, we were at about 10.5% um, inflation rate. And this is coupled with the fact that there were about six uh, uh, monetary um, policy rate increases in the year, taking us up from 6.5% to about 12% to about uh, in November. As you are aware, there were multiple banking As you are aware, there were multiple banking uh, reforms uh, last year, which uh, all uh, had an impact on the capital markets. With regards to credit, uh, public sector credit increased about 25.64%. And this is covered in January to November. And the prime lending rate rose to 16.82% from 15.73% in 2010. Uh, the maximum lending rate rose to 23.35% uh, in 2011, as compared with 21.75% in 2010. Uh, all these uh, had an impact, uh, again, on the capital markets. Uh, foreign reserves were relatively steady at $32.92 billion as of December. And this is really driven by uh, steady oil prices. Uh, the exchange rate, uh, as you know, um, uh, suffered in 2011 as compared with 2010. In 2010, we had an exchange rate of about 148.67 naira to the dollar. Um, but by the end of 2011, um, we were at an effective exchange rate of about 156 naira to the cover to the dollar. Um, with regards to unemployment, unemployment rose to 23.9% according to the uh, Bureau of Statistics, the National Bureau of Statistics, in 2011, as compared to 21.1% in 2010. And uh, unofficial numbers will take that unemployment uh, rate even higher. Uh, according to the National uh, Bureau of Statistics, the youths um, between the ages of 15 to 24, uh, account for about 37.3.7% of the total unemployment. The uh, global rating firm Standard and Poor's uh, rated the Nigerian uh, uh, credit rating uh, uh, as they raised it to positive with a long and short term issuer credit rating uh, raised to B+, which is investment uh, great quality. So if you look deeper into uh, the statistics, if you look at the top 20 stocks, most of it was dominated by financial services, 61%. Our uh, financial services, you will recall, is banking, insurance, and other financial services. Um, the 
next big uh, sector was services with 10%, and uh, other, all others are about 27%. By the way, the 20,000 stocks accounted for about 72.7% of market volume. With regards to value, uh, about 58% of the value that uh, traded in 2011 was in financial services. The top 20 stocks accounted for about 85% of total value traded. If you look at transactions, the top 20 stocks accounted for 72% of all transactions. And uh, most of the transactions were done in financial services, about 64% uh, lot of uh, number of transactions done. The next slide shows you the index performance. Uh, all the indices uh, experienced a drop, as uh, earlier mentioned. Slide 17 is a breakdown of market capitalization by sector on the main board. Uh, with regards to market capitalization by sector, financial services and consumer goods are neck and neck at 31% each. That's about 2 trillion naira each. So those two uh, industries uh, sectors uh, uh, how the leadership position, and then industrial goods uh, got 1.9 trillion naira, uh, and, and then the rest is uh, scattered out amongst the other 12 industry sectors. If you look at our ASM market, which is our market for small and medium enterprises, the distribution of market capitalization across industries is slightly different. Uh, oil and gas accounted for about 74% of market cap, which is about 3 billion naira. And then services accounted for about 14%, which is about 559 million naira. They look at the bond asset class with regards to market capitalization. The federal government continues to dominate in this area with about 56% of total market cap for bonds. This represents about two trillion naira worth of bonds that the federal government uh, currently has our standard. And uh, corporate bonds account for about 1.3 trillion naira uh, worth of bonds, which is about 36%. And the state government account for 8%, which is about 308 billion. This is in spite of the fact that last year, uh, a lot of states uh, came to market uh, with their bond issues. And in what might um, seem like a part two, the CEO of the exchange, Oscar Onyema, gave an outlook on the market for the year 2012. Um, various global institutions are forecasting slower growth in OECD countries, such as the US, Eurozone, and China and are protecting that non-OECD countries will sustain world growth. That means opportunities for Africa and emerging economies. And Nigeria, I believe, is positioning itself to take advantage of that. Coming closer home, we know that there's a significant push to deregulate the downstream oil and gas sector of the economy. We think that it could translate to a positive thing for the economy, especially with the passage of the PID bill, uh, because we believe that that would encourage a number of com uh, companies operating in those sectors to access the capital market and be listed on the stock exchange. The transparency disclosure requirements, corporate governance standards, and um, diversification of ownership that comes with listing on the exchange, we believe will drive transparency, efficiency, and uh, significant benefits to the output and talking about GDP of Nigeria. 
We know that there's been a, re a, a revision in fiscal policy uh, towards more efficiency and, and uh, reduction in recurrent, uh, um, in the percentage uh, of uh, expenditures that are driven by recurrent expenditures. We know that this uh, summer of fund has been launched and uh, $1 billion has been made available uh, to the fund. And so we uh, are backing on more market reforms to properly position the market to take advantage of some of these new initiatives that are being driven by the government. And we anticipate that by the end of the year, we should be seeing a uh, slight uh, market recovery. So the key initiatives we're embarking upon in 2012 include uh, reactivation and revitalization of the secondary bond market. Uh, we will be moving aggressively to provide uh, a viable retail uh, bond market. Uh, full disclosure, uh, we are automating the process for companies to report their yeah, annual and quarterly financials uh, to the exchange and the marketplace. We will continue to support the efforts towards dematerialization as we believe that it will enhance transparency and efficiency in the marketplace. End to end uh, trading automation is uh, very high on our agenda as we work with uh, technology partners to our new platform. As the ANSE plans to implement more initiatives in the new year, it says rather than implement new products, the new ones will be given more developmental attention.